this is my latest venture. I uh, made a little pile of stones there and on top of it I've got some logs. Uh, they're alder. And I'm going to be drilling some holes in them and then putting some dowels in for the king oyster mushroom. Yep. Instructions say you should put it in a part of the garden that uh, is in the shade. Well, it's underneath this tree here, this pine tree. And it's damp. I remember buying some uh, king oyster mushrooms from Estonia. And they're wonderful. Basically because usually when you cook mushrooms, they shrink. They just become about half the size. You lose a lot of water. These king oyster mushrooms are solid and they're firm and they have a lot of protein in them. So I thought, that's for me, king oyster mushrooms. That's the ones that I want to grow. Uh, but after reading up on it, I found that it's the most difficult mushroom to grow. So I don't know if I'm going to get any success. Okay, these are the king oyster mushroom dowels. When they arrive through the post, it tells you to store them at uh, 1 to minus 5 C. Then if you want more sort of growing instructions, then you can go to www.mushroombox.co.uk that I had searched on Amazon for these uh, this spawn and this is the cheapest place you can get it it's about twelve dollars if you'd buy it over in the states if you buy it in the UK it's around about three four pounds for fifty dollars in there so that sort of white stuff that you see on it is the mushroom mycelium I also bought this, it's mushroom dowel wax once you drill holes in the wood there's the danger that uh, other invasive uh, spores will get in there and damage the wood and your king oyster mushrooms won't grow instead something else you don't want to grow so you've got to, once you have put the dowel into the hole then you should melt some of this wax in a pot and then brush it uh, over the hole so that the, it's sealed in to prevent any invasiveness from any volunteer spores that try to get into the wood to decompose it. So that's it. Here we have the a wonderful German Bosch drill with the 8mm wood bit especially bit for making holes in the wood ok this is the alder that I've got brought it from the summer house they recommend you to use alder or oak any hardwood Pale it gives the best results but if you use um, something like spruce or pine, the resin in there uh, can cause uh, some fungicidal action and it'll kill off the, the spores or the mycelium on the dowels. I've got 50 dowels and if I have 10 dowels per log then uh, that'll be enough for five logs so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to now drill ten holes in this and then tap the, the dowels in and seal them with wax I want to annoy you by hearing the drill but uh, put the must be about what one inch dowels one inch holes in this. So here we go. The instructions were to drill the holes in a diamond shape. So there's one there and then 
one there and opposite over here another one and down here another one so that's the diamond shape there so that's four and then another set of four down here and then I put two down here at the bottom so that's ten holes altogether now to tap the dowels in and then seal it with wax so there are the dowels I think that eight millimeter hole is too big in actual fact they slip in very easily so you don't even have to tap them in with a hammer so but it'll seal them in anyway there they are that's it you think about it <laughs> being sterile or not introducing any other fungus things. Look at all these lichen on the edge. It's just covered with stuff. And these logs, they say you should soak them for about a week. Well, they've been out in the rain in the wheelbarrow getting soaked for about a week. So they are rather heavy. So that's it. Six mate mill hole is a, a lot better, a lot tighter fit, so I think there will be more contact between the, the dowels and the, and the wood, so you might get a better inoculation when it's like that. So just to knock them in now with a hammer. Now that was a neat tight fit on there, you see how nicely they went in, so hopefully can't even see some of them, there's another one there one there, one there so six mils rather than eight mils is the best way to do it so there we are with the dowel wax put in the holes now so ten of them and there And now I just need to get out into the garden and leave it for a million years and see if we get any mushrooms off it. These apparently are the most difficult mushrooms to grow, King Oyster. But where would the challenge be if you didn't try and grow something that was difficult?